Hey guys, it's Wizworld 100, you're the viewers, and I'm the vlogger. And, welcome to the vlog of August, or the August vlog 2015. And, here we go, talk about all the stuff that's happened this month on my channel and so forth. Once again, don't forget, you can just listen to this in the background and you don't have to watch it, but, you know, in case you got nothing better to look at. Hi! Videos you may have missed in August. The Game Grounds Quickie I did, which is rendered in 1080p and at 60 frames per second. You, you'll, you'll, know, you'll be able to notice that if you turn the settings to 60 frames and you can see the, the smoothness of the video. But that's mostly in the live action because I, I didn't record the footage at 60 frames. So that's kind of lost on the, frame, on the 60 frames. But hey, it was, it was now in more HD than the usual HD I do. So, be sure to check that out. That's a pr pretty good video that I've done uh, recently. I wish I did more of a couple other things, and I'll go into detail about why later. Another video I did, and this one I did it with my friend D. Tyson, where we watched uh, Mortal Kombat the movie. And I wanted to do a vlog on it, on it called Movie Log. Not Movie Log, Movie Log. It's kind of supposed to be like a play on words and stuff. It didn't translate well in text, but... Sound-wise, it does. So, we talked about Mortal Kombat, the movie. Uh, me and D. Tyson, or D. Tyson and I, I uh, occasionally, once every week, when possible, when he's free and when I'm not busy with stuff, we get together and go watch a movie at my place. And we've watched a couple of movies before uh, Mortal Kombat, and there were also a bunch of other movies that we watched that I wanted to talk about, but some of them were like in trilogies or... Or yeah, like trilogies in a series of uh, movies. Like for instance, uh, Robocop. I, I wanted to talk about that, but I wanted to see all three films before me and D. Tyson talk about it. So, uh, tell me what you guys think about the movie law. I do want to talk about movies and stuff, but not really get into... Not really get into it as my medium for videos, but I do want to talk about it because I, I, hey, I, I enjoy watching videos or movies, so why not talk about it? And there are a couple of movie reviews I would do, mostly because I think there's potential humor and entertainment value to it, and some of them more personal, if more personal to me, that I want to talk about and kind of just archive my thoughts on it. So, yeah, if you haven't seen the uh, movie log on Mortal Kombat with D. Tyson and I, uh, go check it out and let me and tell me what you think about it. I mean, I did try previously with the quick cuts. Neat idea. Didn't really quite go anywhere as as well, but who knows. Uh, these next two these next two videos are kind of on and off, and I'll put links in the description. Right, I need to put links in the description on uh, on the things that I talk about, which I don't think I remember doing for the previous uh, vlogs, which, you know, that needs to be, someone needs to remind me and I need to go do it, you know, just tell me and be like, hey, I don't see the link for this, and, you know, I'll go, I'll go do it, but these next two videos, uh, I'm doing, I didn't intend for this to be a let's play, but, uh, I was gifted this game by my friend, uh, Mini Ninjas, Curse and Chaos, that we played on stream, and for those of you who are watching, I didn't see any of your comments, because this, uh, I had a, I had a new computer set up here, so I didn't have all the things. Had all the uh, setup work worked out like previously. But anyways, mm, yeah, Curse and Chaos. It kind of the game was short enough that I was like, hey, you know what? We could probably do like a co-op LP on on this game. So, well, that was kind of just my own idea. So uh, that I wanted to do, but I'll get. Uh, we got through like eight, like most of the levels in the game, so I'm gonna get Mini Ninjas to play the rest of them with me and, you know, we, ju we just show you Curse and Chaos. It's it's a fun game to play, not exactly to watch, but hey, at least it's there. And then there's a whole bunch of other things within it too. Uh, I, geez, I, f I forget what I'm, I forget where I was going with that, but anyways, yeah, doing an LP on that. We have eight levels out of the 13 uh, done. We'll record later, or I'll record it later when he gets time to uh, play the game with me, which doesn't take too long. Each level is about 10-15 minutes. 10-15 uh, minutes long. 
that's gonna edit and put it on uh, my channel, Wiz Hitman. So that's where you can find it. Find it. So be sure to go to that channel, watch all the other LP videos I do, and subscribe to that channel too. So yeah, go check out uh, Curse and Chaos and some previous uh, Let's Plays that you may not have seen. And while on the subject of Let's Play, uh, if you already don't know, me and Down Phoenix are working on the Golden Axe games, and while in the and while we were working on it, we kind of made a bit of an we kind of made a bit of an LP based around the footage that I'm gonna use. It's not gonna be all of it, but but there's gonna be but during the recording we turned it into an LP. So and I've edited most of it. I just need to upload it onto Wiz Hitman and. Yeah, they're all done, but I wanted to upload it after the, after the quickie, so there'd be like, oh, lots of content uh, popping up. I'm still debating whether to actually put like, you know, the first episode of like an LP on my channel and then be like, oh, if you want to see more, go to Wiz Hitman. Bah, 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 bah. So I'm not sure if I would want to do that. I feel like I just, I should just say, tell you guys to just go to, go subscribe to Wiz Hitman and just... See the videos right there, all neat and organized, and so whenever you're waiting for a review video, or, you know, something, or something on those lines, right here, along with the vlogs. Speaking of Down Phoenix, I also made a guest appearance on his videos, on his, uh, Summer, Game of, Summer Games of Shit on Action 52, or as I like to call it, Action Shitty 2. Um, let's see, I was on an episode, Slashers, where we played this Double Dragon knockoff. Yeah, this Double Dragon knockoff, and... And, uh, some interesting things happen, uh, like making it very far into the level. Uh, after playing Action Shitty 2 with Down Phoenix, I kind of want to do my own, like, video review on Action Shitty 2. So, uh, expect that in the future. The plan for next month... Well, the plan for next month is getting the Golden Axe Quickie done. I was, unfortunately, a little too optimistic when I was hoping to get it out within this month. Because I know, like, every month I only get out, like, one review, video game review out. And that really, that really, that really does irk me and so far. So, with the, the Golden Axe Quickie, I was expecting to get it done within, like, you know, we get all this stuff readied in one week. And then, like, the next two days I just edit all together and this throw it up throw it up but no this is taking a really long time uh, it's mainly because uh, it's a collaboration so that's why it's taking longer and it's kind of a bit of my fault too because uh, when I was asking I was asking like a oh uh, cuz here's how, here's my process for asking for like guest appearance or collaborations the guest appearance are much easier I just ask like oh can you make a small video and appear and I'll just shove it in somewhere in the video that seems logical and you know it would work out like that but a collaboration here's what I usually do I usually uh, with guest collaborations I ask like a, oh hey are you able to have time to do this with me like I asked them like a couple of weeks to a month in advance so I don't catch them off guard that last I'm like hey be in my video because that's not really fair at all you gotta give them some time to prepare and like you know make time for it so when uh, Down Phoenix says, uh, yes, I'll be able to do it, I was kind of expecting, like, yes, this plan's gonna go well, and we'd be done in a week and so. So that was... I'm not calling him out, I'm just... Oh, uh, I'm not calling him out, I'm just a little... I was just a little too hopeful and optimistic about a few things, because, uh... The one thing I should have asked was his ske... <clears throat> the one thing I should have asked... Asked was his schedule, because... Uh, well, during the weekday, he's... Off doing work and stuff, so... So it's so time so the time to get stuff done. We only got it during the weekends, and not so much during the weekdays. And during the weekdays, it's just some script revisions and so forth. Uh, yeah, it it's kind of a I got I gotta keep this in mind for next time if I ever ask him to do a collab with me because this, this took way too long for a quickie. And the whole point of a quickie is that I get it done within like a week of like say three four days, but. Uh, nope, that didn't, that didn't quite work out, so, note to self, uh, be sure to check, check if they're available, and the time they are available. So, I'll get the, but well, we've got the script done, we just need to do the voices, oh, oh yeah, and the footage recorded too, so we just need to get our voices, and the live action 
stuff, and then I can edit it all out, and it'll be up there for uh, September, the quickie for September, and which will be the season finale of Sega Genesis uh, Season 2. And then uh, back to the big reviews, which is what I'm going to talk about next. Back to the big reviews. Yes, I've been doing a little way too many quickies and small videos. I want to do, like, bigger, more in-depth, and more comedic, more entertaining. Uh, it might not turn out as comedic, but I want it to be entertaining at the very least, so... There's going to be a bunch of, uh... Bigger videos that I want to talk about. Stuff that I've either already written or wanted to, uh... Wanted to do. And so far, like, more, is it worth it, uh, which to find, and... All that type of stuff. I hope to get that done. I don't know why I couldn't just do it, like, in the meantime during this month, but... Uh, I don't like go jumping back and forth between projects, because then I get all... Mixed up between them, and then it's just... Uh, I like to focus on one thing at a time. But there, there are moments where I, like, uh, if I have an idea, I, like, I'll write it down on a script and just be like... I'll uh, revise it and fix it up later, so... Yeah, big reviews after this uh, season finale. I hope to do like a couple of more before returning to the quickies. Cause last time I did that, I just I just immediately like jumped back to it after like three big videos. And honestly, I don't think that justifies it enough. So I hope to do at least five big reviews um, for the next couple of videos. Uh, not counting stuff like the vlogs and things. But I hope to do big reviews, and they're coming back. I'm just. Gotta work on them, and, and, uh, oh, right, some of them are gonna be revisits to my older, uh, to the, some older games that I did do, but I wanted to do better, because I thought my older ones were shit, let's, let's be honest, I, uh, I'm not too afraid to admit that my older stuff was shit, but I think, uh, but I think on, on, on the other hand, you should take those with a grain of salt, because I was much younger, much more... Not as experienced as I am now, so that's hence the whole going back and revisiting and making a much better video. Video. At least it's not kind of like, at least it's not like, um, George Lucas going back and fixing, like, his, his like, his Star, like, the Star Wars movie where it was already really good by themselves and he didn't really need to add all that trap to it. But no, mine's gonna be just a, uh, gonna be a revisit to some older games that I wanted to do a better job of them, better job on them. Because some of my older videos were either rushed because as I just want to get it out so it kind of like, you know, cut corners and so forth. I want to go revisit the old videos that I wasn't happy with and make them into better quality video. Okay? You get my drift? But don't worry, there is going to be new stuff. There is going to be new stuff, so don't worry about that. It's, uh... I'll have to see how many of those are revisits. Revis revisits. Those are going to be like big videos too, but I won't count them into the, to the, to the five that I intended to do. The five big reviews I wanted, or new video, new content. The revisits will just kind of be alongside them. I don't know if that made any sense, but just, but just understand, big videos are coming. Bigger videos. And there's going to, and going off those big videos there, it's going to be a couple of collabs too. Uh, there's... There's uh, the AVGN Adventures with Mike Maverick that we've been putting off for a long time because we're both lazy assholes. But um, after the after the Sega Genesis quick finale, I'll get around to working that. That's the first thing I'm going to do, hopefully, that I'm going to go attempt to do and just get it out of the way because it's been, it's been delayed a long, long time. And then there are the other collab videos that I wanted to do uh, uh, with my friend Many Ninjas. Yeah. Pretty, pretty much that's it. Games I've got, or game-related stuff I got. Oops. Well, um, this month Humble Bundle has a lot of good bundles, I gotta say. Or at least bundles that I was interested in. I got the Android, or uh, what was it, the mobile, the mobile games that I downloaded for on my, on my tablet. Because some of them were, some of them were interesting enough. That I wanted to get them, and they were really, and they were really, really cheap. So that was another thing. And then, how was it? There's some other games for PC on the Steam, or some for PC, like the, like Deadly Premonition, the director's cut. Been wanting to play uh, Deadly Premonition, but, but you know, just didn't have quite the time. And then when I saw that pop up, director's cut for a dollar, you know, something somewhere around there, it's like, oh, okay. 
Okay, I'll get it. So, got a, got a few bundles on Humble Bundle, which you guys should also go check out if you want to get games. A few games I found at uh, Dollarama is, uh, one of them I was definitely not expecting, but it was a definite good find, is Fallout 1 on disc. It's, I already own the one from Good Old Games when they had that free uh, Fallout giveaway that Bethesda took down, but yeah, uh, got this for three bucks. Said so right here, which came along with uh, Europa Universalis. Rome. Gold. Includes the expansion Vi Victus. Victus. I assume that's going to be like a, some sort of strategy game or whatever, but I really only wanted to get uh, Fallout on disc. And it's not going to be updated like the updated and patched like uh, the one from good old games, I know that much, but still owning Fallout 1 on disc, that's pretty cool. And then because I, I was curious, I got the Goblet of Fire. Uh, the reason for that is because, yeah, I I did use I did read the, uh, the Harry Potter books back then back then when I was back up until high school sort of back until high school too. But uh, there was another reason reason that I got got this game outside of curiosity is is I got I bought Harry Potter the Chamber of Secrets and that. Well, for PC, and that is a really, really good game. Like, both has a Harry Potter, uh, a game based on the Harry Potter, the, the second book of the Harry Potter series. And as a game itself, it's still pretty good. Like, it's a lot of fun. Like, you you really feel like you're at uh, the School of Magic, Hogwarts. And it, it was just like, like, I really enjoyed it. It was great. It, you felt like you were in that world. And the gameplay mechanics were fun. There were secrets you can go f go find, and I just really, really enjoyed it. And then that's why I got the other games. Uh, that that's that's what led me to getting Harry Potter one, which was it had ideas, but it was very glitchy and bugged up the ass. So so that was kind of disappointing. So then I went to get the third game, and I was like, well, this is the third game. They should. It should be better than the second game, and they should improve on a whole bunch of aspects of it. They kind of did, but it was... It was just very... Like, compared to 2, it sucked. Well, it was functional. Like, it was decent. It was okay. And when I said, said it sucks, I don't mean, like, it's bad. Like, it sucks bad. Just... it Compared to the second game, it sucks. So, just... Out of curiosity, I wanted to see how, uh... The Goblet of Fire would turn out. I haven't touched it ever since after the prisoner of Azkaban so and well once again it's only three bucks so what's there to lose and yeah there's this there's this horse racing game that came off it and as you can see I had no choice if I wanted to pick it huh I swore I got I swore there was a I got Duke Nukem forever I guess not but uh this isn't the game this isn't this isn't a game I got this year or this month, I mean, this is this one I got like I think last year, last year, last year, last year is uh in disc form XCOM Enemy Unknown, which I also own on Steam thanks to Humble Bundle and the XCOM Bundle pack. But hey, it's a physical copy, and oh, it's XCOM, and I was really surprised. I was like, really? It's just been like a couple of months after the game was released, and it's already being sold for three dollars just wow anyways yeah the game on the back is Bioshock 2 which there, there's the Bomberman face right there yeah it is kind of hard to it is kind of hard to unsee now but yeah Bioshock 2 if you like Bioshock 1 you're probably not really gonna like uh, Bioshock 2 2 but if you really was like wanting to play more Bioshock I guess you would enjoy the extra hours this would give. I did not like it. I didn't I didn't really like it. Just it was the same game just slightly different and some small improvements, but other than that it was kind of meh, meh. But that that game wasn't in this uh this month's games I got. Going back to uh Curse and Chaos, I was gifted to that by uh, my friend Many Ninjas, which in return I gifted him uh, Nuclear Throne. So we had a little trade there. Hope he enjoys the game. That game's 
a lot of fun, and I would definitely say better than uh, Cursing Chaos. But Cursing Chaos is quite fun too, especially the multiplayer aspect of it. Things I've done! So uh, there was a couple of movies I saw this month, and also movies I'm going to see, or at least planning to, is... Anyways, I saw Mortal Kombat, and I told talked about my thoughts in, my, in the movie log, and American Ultra, which I got advanced screening tickets uh, for, that was given to me for free, and that movie I didn't know what to expect, but that movie was a lot of fun to watch. It was on like the level of fun I had with watching Robocop, so if you get a chance to watch American Ultra, it's a pretty fun film to watch. It's an action comedy, apparently, and I was laughing at it, and the action is pretty good, or pretty nice too. It's not fantastic, but but uh, the, the end fight was pretty great. No, it, it was just, it was well choreographed, I'd say. And soon to watch, because I got the another advanced screening ticket a couple of days ago, is Maze Runner Scorch Trials. I heard of this, but I never watched, but I never uh, watched it. Uh, I assume it's a sequel, hence why they had the subtitle, so I don't know, so I won't, so I don't know anything going in this, into this movie. And, uh, you might be wondering why I don't do, like, uh, I talk about those types of the newer movies and stuff. Well, I don't know, I need someone to bounce off. It's not the same as video game reviewing, I'd say. I'd say, especially if you're doing it in a vlog format. But yeah, saw Mortal Kombat with my friend D. Tyson. Uh, saw American Ultra with advanced screen tickets and, uh, soon to see Maze Runner Scorch Trials. And another thing I did was, uh, I moved my work area around a bit, like, now I have a little, now I have this little drawer where I put all my stuff in, because, uh, someone wanted to throw this away and make waste of it, and I was like, nah, -uh. it's still useful, some way, somehow. And yeah, it is, although, well, another, the last thing I did, did that I wanted to list off, at least in terms of some sort of Noteworthiness is I did play a bunch of uh, a bunch more uh, of my tablet games, some old ones and some of the new ones I got, and yeah, I I played it more recently than uh, some of the games on PC and on uh, consoles. Like, like you'd think I'd get a lot of time to play all the all the games I have and own, and for some reason I don't. But yeah, I've been playing a bunch of tablet games that I wanted to. Talk about the tablet games that I have been playing that um, that I have like some thoughts and things I could talk about for uh, about the ones I own. So expect that video to come after this one or something, maybe even before. Who knows? So that's it for this month's uh, vlog, August 2015. I'm Wizard 100. You're the viewers, and I'm the vlogger. So hope you enjoyed that somehow, and expect. The whole a couple of things to happen next month with the game review. So with that said, see ya and stay tuned for more from Lazy Works Creation.